Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time I'm going to show you how to reach and create the Maya CR Shrine, which is a Rara's Blessing style shrine. This can be found in the North Gerudo Sky Archipelago in this giant floating orb. Inside of this orb is a light reflection puzzle that I'll show you the solution for. This way you can uh, easily create the shrine for yourself. Okay, our starting point is going to be right here in the Gerudo Highlands Skyview Tower. If you have not yet activated this tower, check the link in the description for a guide for how to do that. I cover all of the Skyview Towers. All right, once you're ready, you want to blast off into the air. And then this Skyview Tower sends us exceptionally high up in the air. And we are actually in a low gravity space. So we're going to start gliding over to this area right here. Go ahead and activate Tulin. Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay, and then you have a couple of choices here. If you take the left route and island hop all the way up to the topmost island, there is a treasure for you. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how to get to the shrine itself. So because we're in low gravity, we actually carry pretty far. And so if you have the stamina to do it, you can pretty easily make it over to this island over here. If you don't, it's no big deal. You'll see constructs on platforms down there, and there are rockets on those platforms that you can use to blast off uh, in a northeastern direction, and then you'll be able to make it uh, to where you need to go. All right, so because we no longer have the altitude, I'm going to stop here and start climbing. So the way we're going to do this is like I just described. We are going to kill this construct right here and then start attaching the rockets to the platform. But we need to always sort of go in the direction of the next sky island. You don't necessarily want to immediately try to get to the sphere. We need to get some decent altitude to get up there. So we're going to head over here in the eastern direction right here. So we're on this island. We're basically going to go over here. All right. Sorry, we're actually going to go this way. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so go ahead and take the rocket. And then you want to pitch it at a 45-degree angle, attach it to one of the dragon heads, and then do the same thing with this one. Just like that. Go ahead and give it a whack. And then, again, because we are in a low-gravity space... We're going to get some serious altitude here. Unfortunately, though, it's never really enough. Um, but what we're able to do is we could probably make it to this one over here without much of an issue. Otherwise, if you want to play it safe, just go ahead and drop down. But we should be able to make it to this one, no problem. All right. Go ahead and do the same thing with this guy, although he has rocket arrows, so you do need to be a little careful. So do your best to snipe him out of the air. This way you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Go ahead and take the rockets, and then we are going to try to get up there. So realistically, what we could do with this one is because we are so far over, we can just send this platform straight up and then glide over to that island. Just like that. Actually, truth be told, given our altitude here, we could actually just jump on over, and as long as you have a decent amount of stamina, you should be able to make it. But if you don't, just keep island hopping up and up and up, and then eventually you will get enough height to begin to glide over to the orb. Now, like I said, inside of this orb is a light reflection puzzle. Uh, I already have it solved, so what I'm really going to do is just show you the solution. This way you can recreate it. Um, for a little while, I thought maybe you had to do this during the day when the sun was coming through the hole, or maybe the moon at night, but that's not the case. It's all, it's all already done here. Okay, so... Oh, it actually resets. Even better. I can actually show you the solution. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this big platform here. And you'll see that coming out of the four sides of this platform 
are big beams of light. So we're gonna rotate this so the big beam is crossing into this mirror. And then what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna come over here and then we are going to take this mirror and just ensure that it is pointed towards the ceiling. This way, the light then reflects down into this mirror here. And then what we need to do with this one is we need to turn it. This way it hits this mirror here. Very good. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit more because we're gonna have to rotate that mirror as well. Okay, that, that should be fine. So let's go over here. And then we're gonna rotate this mirror. This way the light gets reflected downward. Okay, and then it's gonna bounce onto this platform here. Sort of right in front of us. Oh. A little more. A little more. Okay, very good. Now with this platform, we actually have a couple of choices. And so if we were to rotate this clockwise, what would end up happening is the beam of light would hit the pedestal that is currently laid up green. That would be yellow. So once it lights up and it counts down from three, you will be able to open the chest that's inside. So that's the first thing you want to do. But secondly, we want to point this down towards the center. Okay. And then once the light is on the center, we are going to rotate this this way it points to this mirror. And then everything should line back up with the large beams of light. There you go. So don't get too freaked out when the light goes out. You just have to realign it. And by the time this mirror actually lights up the switch, everything should be realigned. But that's it. Once you go in, it will be a Roar's Blessing style shrine, so the whole challenge was just creating this and actually getting here, so there's nothing more to do. Once you're inside, you get your treasure and the light's blessing, and you're done. And that's it. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, you can do so by becoming a channel member by clicking the join button below this video. You can also leave a super thanks by clicking the heart icon below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.